Okay, this demonstration has two parts. In the first part, I'm going to show you um, how you can utilize leftover old dried paint on a jelly plate to in future print. So this was left over from a previous print. And then I deliberately ahead of time, I took my makeup sponge and I stamped uh, this black paint on and then this brushwork and I let it dry. Um, here's some previous prints from old paint that I made. Um, okay, so the first step is I am going to, and I put the black because I wanted, I wanted contrast. I'm going to put a lighter blue and see it should show through that black. Okay. And I'm not using open acrylic, so I'm going to work kind of rapidly on this one. Okay, fingers crossed that this works. Okay, appears to be, you never know what you're gonna get, appears to be working. Okay, so it pulled up the black ink, some of the red ink, now there's more dried paint, um, which I'm going to utilize in, you know, I'm going to pull one more and I'm going to pull another contrasting color if I can find it. Let's see. I'm going to now I'm going to go red. And I could do multiple colors if I wanted to, but I'm trying to keep it simple so you get um, you get the idea of the technique. Okay, so there's that. Okay, pretty cool. Very cool. Okay, so this time it pulled up more of, of that black at the bottom um, than in the previous one. But I think this is fun to play with because you get kind of a, a distressed look. And it, obviously it's perfect for people who um, are feeling like, gee, I'm too tired. I don't want to clean up right now. Um, okay, so the second one is doing my idea of doing a hand print series. And I already did one literally where I rolled open and then I made an actual hand print. I'm not gonna do that because, um, well, it's messy. My hand will be covered in paint. So what I did was I, I, traced, I traced my hand on a piece of cardboard, cut it out, glued it on, another piece of cardboard, same size as my jelly plate, and gessoed it for a little bit of uh, protection. So I played with this a lot this weekend, and this is a case of where it's fun to use um, more liquidy paint. The uh, I'm going to use the Golden High Flow. And what's cool about that, oops, is um, it'll bead up a little bit. It won't go on there quite so evenly, but 
that produces uh, an interesting effect. Okay, I'm going to do also a little bit of blue in there. This is a this is fluid. This isn't high flow. We'll just see what we get. So you can see the the um, high flow beads up a little bit. Now I'm going to press my hand template on there. Okay, it'll pick up some ink on here and look really interesting. And then. Okay, so because that paint beads up, you get kind of this distressed look that I really like. Let's see what the ghost print does. Okay, that's interesting too. And then I'll save these and later on I can collage more on top of them. Um, I'm going to try one other thing. I could make some random marks on my paper ahead of time and then print and see if those any of those marks show through and if they add any interest. Okay, so now I'm going to go, I've got a high flow, it's a phthalo green. Now, if you don't have high flow, I'm wondering if it'd be fun if people tried out maybe like there's uh, acrylic inks. Okay, I'm going to let those mix right there on the surface. That looks pretty soupy. We'll see. We'll see what I get. Don't see the hand as much, but I can see the red lines coming through. Okay, now I'm just going to take this and press it on there, see if that what that does. So a lot of it is just having a big stack of paper and it's all trial and error. And I don't think that's going to do anything. Okay. I'm going to roll this out. So there's a little bit less ink. I'm going to, I've got a spray bottle here. I'm going to lightly miss that. That should create maybe a speckle effect. We'll see. Okay. On a cool. Going to do a couple more, and then I think you basically get the idea. This looks a little thicker than I want, so I'm going to blot up some of that paint. Okay. 
All right. Okay, I'm going to be bold. I'm going to do one more in red, and I think I'm going to print it on this page where I picked up the ink. I will see, I'm not sure. So don't really see the hand there. Some will come out better than others, but this is interesting. Got some paint there that I think, so if, you, if you're going along and you see something like this, and you think, I want to use that dried paint. You could take a, um, you know, a fan or a piece of paper and just get it to dry. I could blot up some of that. Right now, I'm just going to go right over it with this blue I already have here. Or green. I guess it's a green. Phthalo green. Put a little black in there just because why not? Don't really see the hand, but it's interesting. Okay, so you just keep pulling these and then this, the dimensional um, printing plate could be painted further. It's going to keep changing as you go along and building up more and more layers of paint, which I think is interesting. And then you'll get, you know, stacks of these. So here's some of the ones I can sort of see the hand. I could come in and do more painting and collaging on top. Here's one where I drew with charcoal pencil underneath. You can kind of see that showing through. A direct hand print. This is the liquid or the high flow acrylic that gives that bubbly look. And so you're going to get a lot of information about how colors and paint interact and get comfortable with the jelly plate. And you'll get a whole series of hands.